And in terms of your lifestyle with your beautiful wife, what mm -hmm. sort of things do you do? I mean, you're talking about not being in the party scene anymore. Yeah. Are you into any sort of meditational things? Or so what's your sort of personal <laughs> life secret? You're pretty calm. Yeah. I don't see a lot of anxiety. No. Because a lot of hairdressers are really full on. Yeah. No, I've never been anxious. Never had a uh, night's worry uh, in uh, sleep in my life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get into this yoga lot that you've been telling me about. Because <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't really... You know, the gym now. I'm over the gym. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like I, I did jet the gym for for 30 years of my life. I was a big muscle Mary at one point and mm -hmm. you know, I, I like running now, but I want to get into something that's not just about the outside, it's a bit more about the inside, like sure. the yoga thing, you know. Sure. But we just relax, we just chilled, you know, we just we just have long baths and just take it easy. And really. food, are you really into nutrition? Is oh that yeah, I, I, only, I only eat organic. Really? Yeah, I only eat organic and I, I don't eat sugar. I've yeah. cut out sugar from my diet. And what inspires um, you to do that? Because sugar's like, it's the new cocaine. Correct. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just, just got to go. Yeah. You know? And when you cut out sugar in your diet, it's amazing because I never feel full up. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not as, I'm nowhere near as tired. Mm -hmm. um, I started losing a bit of weight. You know what I mean? It's amazing what goes out of your fridge when you get rid of uh, you know, Isn't sugar. Isn't it? Almost everything. I mean, you're just left with vegetables and fruit and, yes, and natural and fish. Natural. Yeah. Um, and great for your hair. Great for your yeah, skin. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you know, I just I just want to eat healthy. Just live a nice, easy life, really. And for the future, more children. I want, to have five, I want to have four more children. Oh, you want to be four a father of five? Yeah, five children. So how old will you be when you have your fifth one, do well, you think? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, I'm not yeah, going to be twins like I've got. That's what I want, triplets to be doing that time. What does your wife <laughs> think about that? Well, my wife was, you know, she loved being pregnant. She <laughs> loved giving birth. She loves being a mother. And it's all, about, and it's all about the woman. The minute it she is. goes, that's enough, then our kids, are, it's that's all it. finished. Okay. But she seems very, very, uh, you know, positive about the whole thing. And her parents have agreed they want to sell their house and we're going to buy a place in the country and they're going to move in with us as our nannies really. So that'll take wow. the pressure off a little bit. So for me, it's all about, you know, um, it's all about family and it's all about business. I mean, you know, we're in 40 countries now with the brand, you know, and we it's are, incredible. yeah, and we're just expanding, you know, crazily. What a life balance. I mean, you're probably the most well-recognized hairdresser in the whole of Britain and look at your family life. Do you feel lucky? Do you feel blessed? I do feel blessed, I do feel blessed, but at the same time, I kind of, I do feel like um, it's a dream. Yeah. You know, I do feel like one day I'm going to wake up and I am, I'm outside Piccadilly Circus in a cardboard box. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just think it can't be real. So I don't take anything for granted, you know what I mean? And I try to, yeah, I try to just feel very appreciative and be humble about the whole thing because this could just be a dream. Absolutely. Well, it's a dream having you here talking to us today. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. And I hope to see you in Sydney next time, maybe with your beautiful Cheers. wife. thank you. Thanks for having me. Cheers, Lee. I knew there was something really wrong with the system because young people were coming into my sounds waving their government certificates and I would trade test them and they were never job ready. 